What's happening YouTube, my name is Alex and welcome to a new video. Today I want to show the differences between an original iPhone 7 Plus and a fake iPhone 7 Plus. So yes, there are a lot of fake devices out there and hopefully by the end of this video you're gonna have enough knowledge so you don't end up buying a fake device believing that you're buying an original one. Let's start by checking out the boxes, see how the boxes look and then let's take a look at the phones. Let's begin. So for the duration of this video I'm gonna have the original sitting onto the left hand side and the fake sitting onto the right hand side. So this is the box that we get for the original device and this is the box that we get for the fake one. As you can probably tell the paint onto this one it's a bit more um, washed out, let me get that closer to the camera. Also the boxes are a bit different in size, so the one for the fake device it's a bit smaller. And again, uh, the paint uh, doesn't look as good onto the fake device. The same on top there. And if we turn these uh, to the sides here, uh, you're gonna notice that uh, the box for the original device, uh, the writing there, it's a bit shinier. But other than that, they do seem uh, quite similar. Turning these around, uh, again, they're gonna be different. So uh, let's start at the top there. This one, the 32 gig, it's the original one and the 128 gig, it's the fake one. So you can see a couple of differences here as well. Inside the boxes it's gonna be a lot of difference as well. So let me open uh, this. So first of all uh, with the original one we get something like this. With the fake one we get something like this. So very very easy to spot. Next um, the headphones. So even though we get uh, those lightning uh, port headphones. This is how the headphones on the original device come. So in a cardboard wrapping and onto the fake device they actually come in a plastic uh, box. The cables do look uh, rather similar. So if we look at the cables uh, maybe the color onto the original one it's uh, slightly whiter but uh, the cables are uh, kind of similar. And the chargers. Now the charger on the original one, so this one here, it's a bit heavier than this one, but uh, that's gonna be impossible to tell if you don't have both of them uh, in your hand. And onto the back here, uh, they do look uh, rather similar. So I'm showing this to you so you know what to look for um, if you're going to purchase uh, one of these devices. Now onto the devices. So this one to the left, this one here, it's the original one, and this one to the right, it's the fake one. Now if we look uh, just like that to them, we're gonna notice that the color onto this one it's a bit uh, lighter, so just slightly lighter, but uh, not, not uh, that much. So it may be difficult to actually see that uh, if you don't have both of uh, them in your hand. So looking at the back uh, of them, starting at the top there, we're gonna see the cameras there, but uh, the camera on the original one, uh, even though you can see that well onto the camera, so this is uh, the original one, the cameras there have uh, this uh, bluish looking tint. If we look at the camera onto the fake one, uh, that bluish tint doesn't exist. Again, it's uh, difficult to say, see this if you don't have both of them uh, in your hand. Now the flash there, the dual flash, uh, you can see the color, the lower part uh, better than onto this one, uh, I think. So the fake one and the original one. The Apple logos do look uh, the same. And all the way at the bottom here, uh, we see basically the same uh, iPhone logos. And let me get this closer to you. So you can see that onto the original and this onto the fake one. So onto the back they're very very similar. Now moving on top of them. So on top they look identical. You can really tell uh, just by looking on top there. Onto the sides here again they are identical. So if we look close uh, you're just gonna notice that the original it's a bit shinier than uh, the fake one. So you can see the paint uh, reflecting more onto the original than onto the fake one. So this one here it's the original. So. Yeah, that's another thing, but again, this is going to be difficult uh, to tell if you don't have both of them uh, in your hands. So let's take out those SIM card tray slots and uh, see how they look. So your first clue that you're looking at a fake device would be the SIM card tray slot, because the original one has um, some rubberized plastic right there, and we can also see the IMEI of the device onto it, and onto the fake one, which is this one, we don't have that uh, rubberized uh, plastic or uh, whatever that is. 
so basically the clone it's not gonna be water resistant so look for that uh, as the first thing uh, into checking if you have a fake or real device now the bottom of the devices so this one uh, here is the original this one here is the fake so first of all we have the exact same uh, holes there uh, but onto the fake one you can actually see some stuff into the holes i'm not sure if you can uh, see on the camera but for example right there you can see some stuff uh, into the holes onto the original one you're not gonna be able to see anything also the color on the charging port it's a bit different um, onto the fake and onto the original one and lastly turning the phones onto this side here we are gonna notice that again they are identical pressing onto the buttons uh, the buttons do feel identical so you can really tell from that but you can easily tell from these uh, mute buttons so onto the original device which is this one it's easier to actually switch that uh, to on uh, than onto this one. We can also see some more red onto the original one. So you can see the red in there and onto the fake one, you can barely see the red. So this could be your second clue that you're looking at a fake device. Onto the front, they are identical, uh, just like onto the sides and onto the back. So you can't really tell um, which one is which. The buttons feel identical because uh, we don't have a push uh, home button, just like you don't have it on the original one. So on the front, they do look very, very identical. The screen onto the original one, so this one, it's a bit darker uh, than onto the fake one, if you can uh, see that onto the camera. But other than that, we don't really see any differences onto the front. And if you're still not sure if you're looking at a fake device, let's turn both of them on. So this is the original one, this is the fake one. And the original one it's already on and this one it's still uh, starting up. First of all onto this one we are gonna get uh, the anterior passcode and this one has a passcode set up as well. But again if they are new they may not have uh, a passcode or password uh, set up. So let's enter the password onto this one. And onto this one, we'll unlock it to the fingerprint. So as you can probably tell, they do look uh, somewhat identical. Let's uh, take a look at the screens first. So let's do this and let's do this. So let's turn the brightness all the way up. So this is how uh, the original one looks. The screen onto the original one. Let me just uh, get rid of that. So they do look rather, uh, rather similar. So it's gonna be very difficult uh, to tell just by looking uh, at them uh, like this. So the exact same viewing angles on both of them and they kind of have the exact same resolution as well. So the screens look uh, very much alike. Now a really good way to figure out if you're looking at a fake device is the home button. So when you press this button, it feels like a click, not a, a vibration. So let me see if you can get that onto the microphone. So it feels like a click more than a vibration onto this one. So the fake one. So every time you touch the home button, it actually vibrates. If we swipe left, uh, they do look uh, kind of identical, both of them. But uh, onto the fake one, so on this one, if I click onto that, this is what uh, happens. So as soon as you click onto that, uh, the phone kind of crashes. Onto this one, it will actually open it. If we swipe down on both of them, so they will look uh, rather similar. And if we scroll like this, uh, we're gonna get the same screen. So the notifications are also somewhat um, similar, but there are uh, some small differences. The search bar, it's all the way at the top and turn to the fake one here, uh, it's sitting a bit lower. So there are th little things that um, you should keep in mind. I'm gonna start by opening a couple of apps. So first of all, let's open the phone on both of them. So they do look uh, somewhat similar. Uh, if we open the photos on both of them, they will be a bit different, but uh, this could be different depending on uh, what, what pictures you have and uh, so on. So if we click onto these or onto memory or onto photos, uh, they may be a bit uh, different as well. 
Now um, let's check out the clock for example. So again the clock may be the same, maybe a bit different depending on what version uh, you're gonna get. And I wanted to show you something else. For example, if I click on to, let's try on Safari for example. So if I click on to this, we get something like this. And we also get the exact same thing onto the fake one. But this one looks a bit bigger than onto that one. So we do have that 3D touch um, onto the fake device as well. Now, if you open the App Store uh, on both of them, this one is gonna load the actual App Store. This one is actually gonna load the Google Play Store. So if you see anything related to the Google Play Store onto your uh, iPhone 7 Plus uh, that you're uh, about to buy, you're most likely looking at a fake device. Now I'm gonna open the settings app uh, on both. So uh, again, this uh, looks a bit uh, different. We don't have that search bar onto the original one. Let me turn the brightness up uh, a bit onto this one. So they look uh, similar. So let's start uh, from the beginning. So everything is kind of the same. Again, we don't have a SIM card in this one. So we may have uh, other settings there as well. If we click on to notifications here, uh, you're gonna see that everything is uh, different. So we'll go back. At control center, uh, let's open that as well. So again, these uh, will be the same. So let me move back. At do not disturb here, uh, they will be kind of the same, but uh, onto this one we have more options. So that's another thing uh, to look for. At general here, at about, uh, you're gonna see the same uh, software number and uh, so on. So again, iOS 10.2, this is gonna say iOS 10.3. So depending on what uh, software they have, uh, what else can we find out here? Let's go to usage, for example, which I don't even have uh, anywhere here. So I can't even see the usage right here. And I was going to say something else because I've seen something else. So here we have the home button uh, where you can choose your click. Onto this one, we don't actually have uh, the home button anywhere. So if you don't see that home button uh, settings, uh, you may be looking at uh, a fake device. So this is how uh, the general uh, settings uh, app looks like. Let's see what else we find uh, here. Display and brightness. Again, this uh, looks slightly different. We can set that one uh, to auto. And the night shift here, uh, it's off. And uh, here it says uh, sunset to sunrise. But again, when you open it, they do look um, rather identical. So uh, that's uh, that. Let's see what else we can find. Siri, for example. Here um, you can click on Siri as much as you want and uh, nothing will happen. So Siri will never open. For Touch ID and Passcode, uh, actually both of them uh, have Touch IDs. So let me show you how that works. So, uh, maybe it's this finger. So let's try that one more time because uh, I have another finger set up. So both uh, Touch IDs work on both of them. But battery here, uh, again, they're gonna look kind of identical. We can even turn on the percentage on that one. But here we're gonna get some more options that uh, we're not gonna be getting onto the fake one. What else do we have here? So let's move back and phone messages safari so as you can probably tell uh, they do look identical you're not gonna find these uh, options so photos and cameras they should be in their uh, own separate tab here uh, they're together with everything else so let's open these uh, for example so for photos and cameras uh, again it's gonna be very very different here you're not gonna have uh, all the options so this is another thing that uh, you should be looking at because this device can record in 4k but the fake one cannot so that's uh, about it for uh, the settings app. And as you've probably seen, uh, they do look uh, rather similar. Let's uh, lastly check out the camera apps onto both of them. So as you can probably tell, uh, the camera apps look identical. So there is no difference uh, whatsoever. You're gonna find uh, a lot of uh, differences if you're actually trying to take a picture. 
but either than that uh, they do look rather uh, identical so for example let's switch this to photo and let's take a picture of both of them and as you've seen, uh, this one takes uh, pictures much, much faster. And here at the 1x, uh, this is 1.0x. So yet another little thing that uh, you should be looking at. So hopefully this uh, video gave you enough knowledge so uh, you know what to look for uh, if you're about to buy a iPhone 7 so you don't end up buying a fake one uh, believing that uh, you're buying a real one. If you did like the video and you found it useful, press that like button, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.